Aloha, this is Brian Watkins, and this is the ninth pivot table for salesperson reports. We're going to use calculated fields together with an if statement to produce a pivot table that will have a column for a bonus that we give salespeople. Okay, so this is going to be uh, something that we come up with on our own so that for each line of our report, if the salesperson's total sales exceed a certain number, then we're going to give a 15% bonus. If they do not exceed that number, we're only going to give a 10% bonus. So this is another example of how you can calculate your own field to personalize a report. So let's get started. We're going to select salespeople from the UK, indicate on a quarterly basis the total orders for each salesperson. So insert, pivot table, OK, country in the filter, salesperson order date, order amount. We're going to change the layout to tabular. Right click on the years and group it as quarters and years. OK, and we're going to set our filter for the UK. Now what we want to do is for any quarter here where a salesperson's sum of orders exceeds 20,000, we're going to give them a 15% bonus. So we do that with a calculated field. Go to Analyze, go to Fields, Items, and Sets in the Calculations box, hit Calculated Field. Okay, so we're going to name our first field Bonus Percent. We'll just stick the words together just like that. And our formula is going to be an if statement. Now, a couple basics about an if statement. The first thing you do on an if statement is ask a question that can be true or false. The question we have is pertaining to the order amount. So we want the order amount field. We don't want to type it. We just double click on order amount and that will bring it in just fine. If you try to type it, you inevitably get it wrong. The computer is really sensitive to single quotes, double quotes, and the like. Just double click on the field. If it is greater than 20,000, comma, okay, what comes after the first comma is the result if the test is true. So if the order amount is greater than 20,000, 0.15 or 15% is the bonus, comma, what comes after the second comma is what happens if it's false. If the order amount is not greater than 20,000 or is equal to 20,000, 0.1 is going to be our bonus percentage. As with all Excel functions, I have to close it with a parenthesis. So I have the name of the function, if. I have two parentheses with three different arguments. A logical test that's true or false, what to do if it's true, and what to do if it's false. I hit OK, and you can see right away that Excel took a guess at formatting that was wrong. So we're going to right click Number Format, and we're going to do a percentage with zero decimal places so that we can have a simple 15% or 10%. Okay, now the great thing with calculated fields is you can go on to use it over and over again. So I can go back to Fields, Items, and Sets, Calculate a Field. And this time, I'm going to calculate the bonus amount. And the bonus amount, let me backspace over the zero, is going to be that bonus percent we just did. So now I can use that, and I can multiply that times the order amount. And that will be our bonus. Okay, that's, a, that's how you use calculated fields. So I'm going to put a accounting format on that. I'll put... A number format on this one here. We can mix and match. All right. Now, on this one, on this particular table, okay, I want to show you how to change your headings. So if you're asked to change the headings, you can do it by right clicking, value field settings, and the custom name can be anything you want. Now, this is a bonus percentage. Excel took a guess. Okay, pivot tables are pretty good at guessing, but they're not perfect. So I'm going to take that out. I'm going to say 
bonus and I can use special characters and spaces because this is just the label it's going to go up on top and it even adjusted the width for me the sum of order amount if I change that I could just say total sales doesn't that make much more sense so total sales and then I can do it again for bonus amount and I'll say bonus paid and there we go a little bit easier to understand what's going on let's do on this one uh, we're gonna put a style I think banded rows not banded columns banded rows will look good let's look at another one there we go I like this one okay so that's a banded row uh, with the altered column headings with the calculated fields and if you can do one of these this is probably as complicated a pivot table as you'd need I have lots of stories from students that have done very well in their jobs because the pivot table allowed them to do something so fast that their supervisors and employers didn't realize could be done so that concludes our pivot table curriculum Bounce around through these videos until you can comfortably prepare any one of them that you are asked to prepare. Good luck.